Hi, this is Asa, and welcome to my audio experience. I need to have you, no matter what you're struggling with today. Look, I want you to know that you can live better and you can live longer if you have the keys and the tips and tricks that we're going to talk about today. It's all about longevity in this game of life. It really comes down to the choices that we make every single day. Just remember that the body is amazing. It regenerates every single day. Each day old cells die off, new cells form. We get a brand new body about every year. Okay, so the body is in a constant state of old things dying, new things forming. So just remember that the food you eat, the air you breathe, the exercise you get, what you do every single day really matters. And it is what makes the body that you have now. That's why you don't have the body that you had when you were 18. You know, you've made so many choices up to this point. Now you have what you have. However, the good news is, is that you can unravel a lot of that. Okay, it takes time, but we know for sure in science that we can, our own DNA and our genetics can be altered by what we do in our choices. We used to think it was all genetics, like what was passed down from grandma and grandpa to all of us, and that that just kind of was the cards that we were dealt. We know that's not the case anymore, because just because someone in your family had diabetes doesn't mean you have to. Just because someone dealt with depression in your family doesn't mean that you have to. So you can completely go a different direction than many of your family members if you make the right kind of choices. And that's what this show is about. It's about helping you make better choices because health really is, comes down to choice. Look, you control what you put in your mouth every single day. Do you not? You do. And you control what time you go to bed and how much sleep that you get, right? Oh, and you also control whether you're watching football or, or television and binge watching something on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon. You do that versus going to the gym for 45 minutes. So, see, you're making the choices to put yourself where you are with your health. It's not mine. You know, it's not my thing. Uh, you know, I fight with it every single day to go to the gym, work out, eat healthy. You may think, oh, it's easy. It's not. It's a battle every single day. We all want to do what's easy. But I always say that with everything in life, it doesn't matter if it's your health or with your work or finances, with kids, grandkids, being your best, having a lot of energy, you've got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Okay, I'm going to say that again. You've got to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And that is the only way that you're going to win in this game of health. One thing I've learned more than anything else, I've been doing this thing for a long time, okay? I've, been learned, I've learned in this game, especially after three doctorates, okay? I've studied medicine, uh, chiropractic physician, naturopathic physician, board-certified nutrition. And it's like after all of that schooling and training and practice and years of seeing patients, I've realized that it, it really is not about which diet's better. It's not about what supplement's better. It's not about the some sea moss that you get from, you know, the jungle of Africa and it's going to heal everything in your gut and get rid of everything. I mean, come on. It is not that simple. It comes down to what you do every single day, your choices and your habits. That's what's going to give you the kind of life that you want to have. It's going to give you higher quality of life in the years that you do have. Because we may not be able to count and, and manage the years that we have. Only God can give us that. But you want the years that you do have to be a very high quality life. And that's what we want to give you on, you know, really on this show is, is to give you the tools to be able to do that. And it really comes down again. I'm going to teach you some of that on today's show, so don't go anywhere. But I want to make sure you understand that it really lies in your hand, lies in my hand. You know, I'll tell you a story. When I was young, I was 17 years young. So I was a kid. I was super, super skinny. Actually, I'm going to get into the story when we come out of this, uh, this break. But I, I want to tell you a story about how I got on my journey. Now, this is in my book. I tell a little bit about my testimony and my story and, and all of that. But I want to talk to you about how really the journey that, that took me to where I am today, to becoming a physician, to getting three doctors, to being so involved in seeing other people live healthy and live better and, and become their best version and reach their potential. Because I think at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I mean, you think that discipline is hard, but wait till you get the bill of regret. And I've talked to too many people in their 70s and 80s and 90s that have a lot of regrets. And so that's why I go so hard, and that's why I push myself so hard. Make sure to go com. That's DrAsaShow.com. You can always send me an email there. You can check us out on all social media. Everything is at DrAsa. You can go there, check it out. Also, I'm giving away my free book. Don't forget that because it's a complete gift for you. I hope you'll see me drink this thing all throughout the show. I've got my water here nonstop. So I'm on, I'm on a, 
I'm on a kick right now. So I'm huge with anything. Anytime we talk with people about health, we talk about drinking. Like the first thing I say, the first question I'll ask you is, are you drinking enough water? It really is. It's, it, it, all my health coaches, my physicians and providers that we train, it's the first question we ask. How much water do you drink every day? And you'd be blown away of how many people hardly drink any water, like two glasses a day. They drink tons of coffee, tons of juice, tons of soda, but they're not drinking plain water. Now, tea counts and, and some other things, you put electrolytes in your water, and that's fine. But pure, you know, water is so important. Our body's made of 75% water, give or take. And so it's very easy for us to get dehydrated. So I want to encourage you, you want to do half your body weight in ounces of water. So if you weigh 240 pounds, you drink 120 ounces of water a day. Now, I'm drinking almost two gallons a day right now. With my body weight activity level, I train three times a day typically. And so, you know, for me, I'm really drinking a lot. That's why you're constantly seeing me drinking this. But I want to encourage you to do the same thing because if you could, like if you said to me, Dr. Asa, what could, if, if, I, if I couldn't do everything, but I could do one thing, what would that be? And I would say drink a gallon of water a day. And really, if you're at a certain body weight, women, men, a, a gallon of water is good for just about anybody, okay, unless you're 90 pounds, okay? But if you're 150 pounds, 130 pounds, 170 pounds, a gallon of water is just a good number. And if you could set that goal, I always say set two goals, okay? So if it's, a, if it's a gallon of water a day, set a goal for 60 ounces by lunchtime and 60 ounces by dinner time. Okay, so if it's, if it's noon and you haven't drank your 60 ounces, sit there and drink your 60 ounces. Then all you have to do by dinner time is another 60 ounces. That sets the pace and sets the goal for you to be hydrated and feel your best. Because let me tell you something, you will notice, yes, you will have to pee more, okay? But that ends up going away. Your body settles down and gets used to it. But you're gonna notice your energy levels go through the roof. Your body's gonna release toxins. Your skins will look better, okay? Your eyes will look better. You just everything about you will radiate and glow. People that are hydrated look better, feel better, and your brain's going to work better. I think that's one of the great things about it. But we're here for you, okay? I want to encourage you. I'm going to tell you my story here in just a minute, but I want to get some calls because I know you've been waiting. Make sure to go on the website. Go to DrAsaShow.com. That's DrAsaShow.com. Also, give me a call, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. You can always give us a call here on the show. You can Listen, we take your calls. If you want to call in private, we can do that as well. We've got providers in your area that believe the same way we do, okay? So we can connect you with one of our providers. And hey, if you haven't joined the health club yet, I've got encourage you i have a community where it functions almost like a, a club and i get on and i get in there and i teach but you can talk back with me freely like it's it's a it's a facebook page that we get into is private so i want to encourage you if you go to the website go to dracesshow.com and you can find the the little section there for the health club hop in doesn't cost anything Jump onto the health club and you can just be a part of it. Also, we're giving away a free book. So my hardback cover, which is a bestseller, we're giving that away for free. Go to the website, get that, get it to a loved one, get it to somebody. But we're doing it because we care about you. I want to see you thrive. I want to see you live better than you ever have. I want to see you go to the next level in your health and your life. That is what's important to me. Now, in just a moment, we're going to get to some of these calls. I know you've been waiting. And I've been talking, but I'm excited. I'm excited about seeing somebody live their best life. Okay, real quick, I'm going to tell you two things. If you're looking to get healthier, there's two things you need to do. I'm going to add to the water. One is drink a gallon of water a day. Two is set a regular sleep schedule. Want to turn back the clock 15 years and have more energy? This is Dr. Rasa telling you to just breathe with LiveO2. LiveO2 delivers the right amount of oxygen we need for optimal health. Go to LiveO2.com. That's LiveO2.com. To find out more, connect with On Call Radio online at InShapeNetwork.com. People don't talk enough about sleep, and I'm going to get into that too. But setting a regular sleep schedule, like you can't go to bed at 10 o'clock one night, 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. the next night. Get on a regular schedule, and even if it's only six hours, if it's steady, then your body will get into a rhythm and your health will go through the roof. That is how you actually will reset your hormones and detox the body the best. Now, enough people are not talking about sleep, but I'm telling you it is a big deal. So I want to encourage you to be able to do that. Get a regular sleep schedule, start with a gallon of water a day, and you'll be on your way. All right, look, I'm so excited to be with you. I'm Dr. Asa. This is the Dr. Asa Show. Go to DrAsaShow.com. 
That's DrAceTheShow.com. You can always give me a call, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. I'm always here for you. And look, social media, all of them, we answer everything. So Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, everything's at Dr. Asa. Just go check it out. And we're here to help you go to the next level with your health and your life. Let's get on the phones and go to Mac. Hi, Mac. Calling about my wife who does everything well diet-wise, low weight exercises, but has left hip bursitis to where she's unstable walking and in danger of falling. Mm. She is 80 years old. Uh, She has no other health symptoms, takes no medication, and we need help on how to reduce bursitis levels to help clear up this problem. So uh, a couple things uh, that I really want to look at, and it's, it's super important. How do I say it? I know she's 80. Like, I get that. But here's the deal. Muscle is the currency for longevity. All right, I'm going to say it again. Muscle is the currency for longevity. And once you understand that, once you understand that muscle is the currency for longevity, it doesn't matter what the age is. But I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you this, and you have to communicate this to her. It's so important. Because if you don't, and she doesn't get it, and some people don't get it. At 80, especially a lot of times with women, they're set in their ways, and they don't want to get up and start exercising and doing a bunch of resistance training and all that. But the reality is if somebody hasn't done that their whole life, and they're not, that's not been something they normally do, She's going to have to get a a personal trainer. This is not something she can just go walk around the block, okay? It needs to to gradually happen, but you need to get her into a a routine where it's six days a week, and yes, six days a week. And it's it's walking, you progress, and I would get somebody like physical therapy, occupational therapy. I would get a personal trainer. Whatever you have to do, get her into whether they come to the house and they help her, whatever it is. But you need to get her into a rhythm and a routine where they're training her. And she needs to be active, resistance training, six days a week. Now, I used to be a three days a week, let's ease into it, whatever. Look, her hip, if it's hurting like that, it's got bursitis. All, most of the pains that happen over time is not because your joints, you're getting older, okay? Like, that's such a bunch of bunk. If they have, science has shown, studies have shown that the more we move, it it reprograms our DNA in our body to say, oh, okay, This is what we do. We move. It will rebuild connective tissue. It'll rebuild cartilage. It'll strengthen the connective tissue that you have. It'll strengthen the muscle and tendons around the joints themselves. And the body starts to rebuild itself like, okay, we're moving now. Because if you sit down and watch Jeopardy all day long, okay, and watch Netflix and and watch, you know, whatever the latest show is all day long, crossword puzzles. And look, I've seen this with my own family members. If you don't get your loved one moving it is going to go downhill really fast. And you think bursitis is like the main issue right now? You haven't seen anything yet. Lack of mobility is, is the avalanche that happens when, of, of health issues when we don't get moving. And you can stop that dead in its tracks by saying, you know what, and get committed. She's got to get committed up here. Like she's got to make a mental decision first. It all starts in the mind. Like it, the body will always follow the mind, whatever's going on. That's why depression is so messed up because if you get depressed up here, the body just, you know, goes to heck in a handbasket. But if you can get the mind strong and the body's all messed up, the body will actually get back in order. And so that's something that is really, really important that I want you to understand. It's, it's so important to get that. Okay. So be encouraged that you're going to have to play motivational speaker <laughs> you're gonna, or to get her to tune into this show. And I'll, I will shake her up because I love her. I love, I love, that's, I love all my listeners, my family. You guys are like family to me. And I, I'll tell you what, I don't like to see people suffer and I don't like to see people not win. And she definitely can win, but it all starts with here. I am so glad you're with us. Look, this show is about you. It's about your health. It's about your life. I'm Dr. Asa. This is the Dr. Asa Show. Go to 888-283-7272. If you want to call the show and be live here with us, 888-283-7272. Or go to DrAsaShow.com. That's DrAsaShow.com. Right here on the Believe Network, we believe in you. We know that you're going to have a better life. If you apply the principles, you make a decision that you want to get well, that you want to thrive, that you want to live longer and live stronger, it's all about making the decision. Okay, this is not about genetics. It's not about what was handed down to you. We know for a fact that you can change that. I'm going to tell you a little story. The reason I'm so passionate about what I do is when I was 17, I was really, really, really skinny. 
really skinny, like super thin, like 130 pounds. I'm six foot one, roughly, and I was really tiny. And I wanted to play football. And so I was kind of small to play football. I had a good height, but I didn't have the size. So I started working out in the gym. And all of a sudden, I had somebody that helped me knew what they're doing, and I gained 30 pounds in like three months of muscle. And I'm like, holy cow. The reason I was like, holy cow, is because I did it with my own two hands. Okay, I didn't, I mean, I, it, I had to eat a lot of calories, but I put the work in. Six days a week in the gym, after school, plus homework, plus football practice, right? Plus all of this, and ended up achieving my goal. And that led me down a path to know that by making the right kind of mental decision that you want to do something or accomplish something or win at something, that you can actually get your body to change. And what I realized through that process also is I've gone on, you know, to, to, to really do a lot of things physically in athletics all throughout my life and even still today in great shape. And so I'm saying that to say this because I realized, and what fascinated me about that is that if you can do that with muscle and, and as an athlete, what could you do, and this is the question I posed even before I became a doctor, what could you do with diabetes and high blood pressure and losing weight and depression and all these things? And I realized after going through all the schooling, training, and practice for the last 25 plus years, I've realized this, is that you've got to make the mental decision, but most people can unravel the health issues that they have with their own hands, meaning by what they put in their mouth, by the exercise that they do or don't do by the sleep that they get, by the discipline that they have. And I say this all the time, is that if you have a hard time with discipline, you need to buck up and realize that if you think discipline is hard, wait till you get the bill for regret because regret is gonna hurt way worse than the pain of discipline. And guess what? When you get the bill of regret, you cannot do anything about it. That's what makes it difficult. Did you know that you can listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, Check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. To find out more, visit the show online, inshapenetwork.com. So you've got the opportunity right now to make good decisions. And if you've been eating terrible, if you've not been exercising and you're just in a place where you sit around all day and watch TV and you're feeling sorry for yourself, it's time to snap out of that. It's time to get to a place where you're going to really thrive and really make it and go to the next level in your health and your life because that's what we're here to help you do. Go to DrAcesShow.com. That's DrAcesShow.com. And also, we're giving away a free copy of my book, absolutely free. It's hard copy. It's the best-selling book that I have. You go to uh, DrAcesShow.com, but you can also go to MyFreeHealthBook.com, MyFreeHealthBook.com. And we're giving it away for free just to be a gift to you, to help you, to bless you, to get you on this journey so you can make the decision that you want to get healthy, that you want to live longer, you want to live stronger, and, and do this thing of life at the highest level that you can. We don't want to see you fail. I don't want to see you not have the energy for your kids and your grandkids. I don't want to see you not live your potential when you know you've got more inside of you. How many of you know you got more inside of you? If you're not raising your hand right now, you tell me you've filled, you've filled your potential, I know you've got more inside. And that's why on this show, we want to help you do that. Make sure to give me a call, 888-283-7272. We'll do everything we can to get you where you need to be. Welcome to the show. I'm so glad you're with us. I'm Dr. Asa, and this is the Dr. Asa Show. Give us a call, 888-283-7272. We take you call, your calls on the show today, as always, live. We'll answer them, whatever you've got going on, or we'll take it in private, whatever you need us to do. If you need help finding a provider in your area, we're here to help. We've got a great team of people all around the country that can help you do that as well. And also, we're giving away a free copy of my best-selling book. It's a hardback copy, and we're giving it away to you. Why? Because we care because we want to see you go to the next level with your health and your life and not be stuck where you are because look at the end of the day there's so much out there right with health you get on the internet and, and it's there's so much out there do you do this diet or that diet take this supplement or that supplement do you eat broccoli or brussels sprouts or broccoli sprouts or whatever kind of sprouts or you know wheatgrass like what do you you know there's so much out there we want to help you cut through all that mustard 
Mustard's really good for you, by the way. We want to cut through all the mustard and help you figure out exactly what you need to be doing. And that's, it. look, it comes down to choices. Our health comes down to the choices we make every single day. And no one else can do this for you. I want you to realize that. Go to DrAsaShow.com, DrAsaShow.com, and our free health book is there, but also it's at MyFreeHealthBook.com. You can go there as well. But I want to tell you something. Nobody can do this for you. Your parents can't, your grandma, your grandpa, your friends, family member, coworkers, no one can take responsibility for your health but you. No one can hit, not hit the snooze button, get up in the morning and work out. I can't do that for you. You've got to do that for you. Nobody can get and, and make you drink more water. I can't do that for you, but you can do that for you. So I just want to encourage you that if you really want to go to the next level to reach your potential, become the best version of you, I suggest that you get on board. And guess what? We're doing a a new series of shows. I want to tell you all about this. Brand new series of shows. Give us a call, by the way, 888-283-7272. But we're doing a new series of shows where I do house calls. And I will pick one of my listeners or viewers, and we come to your home, and it's a new TV show. And we come to your home, and in one day, we're going to completely remodel your health. A lot of times, people come to remodel your house, but we're going to remodel your other house. And that is about to begin, and we are actually taking people. So go to the website. Let us know if you want to be part of the show, and you may get picked to be a part of that. So that is happening right now. So we're excited to tell you about that. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Let's get on the phone and go with Nadine. Hi, Nadine. I called a while ago Hmm. to ask a question about gallbladders. What kind of foods to eat uh, to prevent your gallbladder from flaring up? All right, so the gallbladder. Let's talk about the GB. Gallbladder is something that a lot of people definitely struggle with over the age of 40. Women primarily more than men. But the reality is if you eat a bunch of oil, uh, what, what they call seed oils is kind of the new phrase right now, like you know, rapeseed oil and palm oil and, all, and canola oil, all these crap. These, these things are absolutely awful. And whenever you heat any of these things, they turn rancid into a trans fat. Trans fat is one of the number one cancer-causing agents that we have. And look, it is in so many foods. But if you do this, if you eat those things constantly, your gallbladder, because every time a fat goes into the body, the gallbladder has to release bile to come in, help break it down, and, you know, handle the fats. Now, some fats are good for you. Almonds, walnuts, cashews, avocados, right? Fish oil, those are all good things for you, right? Fat and salmon. But your gallbladder, if it's getting bogged down, Okay, if it's cramping and, and, and you might have stones, I would go to your physician, tell them about it, get it checked out. They can ultrasound. There's a couple of tests that they can do. I would get it looked at. Blood tests that they can do. You know, if it's got a major stone that's blocked and you'll know you'll be at the hospital <laughs> like that. Okay, so I would get that checked out. Now, there's some things you can do. There's a gallbladder flush in my book, by the way. I'm giving away my book for free. So if you want that, go to MyFreeHealthBook.com. That's MyFreeHealthBook.com, and they'll give you a copy of that, and they'll just send it to you. It's a hardback copy. It's my bestseller. It's got a whole gallbladder flush in there that you can do periodically to keep the gallbladder healthy. But remember that the gallbladder gets overactive with the wrong kinds of fats, okay? So stay away from all the seed oils. Do not cook with oil except use butter, coconut oil. That's about it. Don't use anything else. Don't cook with olive oil, okay? Once you heat it, it breaks down to the same thing as some of these other seed oils, okay? Stay away from that. And then also look at hydrochloric acid as far as eating that with your meals. Pineapple's really good because it has bromelain in there that can also help in that area. You can add that to some of your meals. That can be super helpful. So glad you're with us. I'm Dr. Asa. This is the Dr. Asa Show. Go to DrAsaShow.com. It's DrAsaShow.com. All of our social media is there. Everything's at Dr. Asa. Look, you better be emailing me, and also you better be DMing me. It's called a direct message. So if you're on Facebook, that means you send a message. If you're on Instagram, you send a little message. We do see them. We do answer them. TikTok, same thing. Maybe you're not on TikTok yet. If you're not, you should be. Like everybody and their grandmother. Well, maybe not their grandmother. Everybody and their parents are on TikTok. Even like five-year-olds are on TikTok, and they shouldn't be. That's another discussion. However, we're there for you. I'm not on there twerking. 
I'm on there giving health information to be able to help you live your best life. If you send me a video twerking, we're really going to have a problem. So do not do that, okay? All right, moving on. Let's get on the phones and talk to Elisa. Let's go to Elisa. Hi, Elisa or Elisa. I was just wanting to ask if he was familiar with burning man syndrome and what he would recommend for that. The root cause of that is is mostly coming from inflammation in the body. And there's also usually a lack of vitamin B5, which is panathenic acid, and then also B6, which is, there's two versions of that. There's pyridoxine and pyridoxal 5-phosphate. Both of those, vitamin B6, uh, usually are deficient. You can get blood tests done and see exactly what's causing that. Plus, I would also get a full panel done, which our providers do. And a lot of times, people really struggle because they can't figure out their doctor, their primary care, won't run tests to look at nutritional deficiencies. Now, let me tell you something. Standard medical tests... I'll kind of break this down. Standard medical tests look at systems, right? So they look at the cholesterol, which is part of the liver. They're looking for liver enzymes. Are they high or are they low? They're looking at the pancreas. They're looking at insulin. They're looking at uh, the hemoglobin A1C for blood sugar. They're looking at the blood cell, the size, what it looks like, the combination. Are there platelets too much, not enough? They're looking at systems in the body, okay? The step back from that when you're looking at lab work is to look at all the nutritional values. It's to look at vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, fatty acids, cofactors. You've got to look at what we call a nutritional baseline. Because if that person, which most people are, is nutritionally deficient in any category, in any area, they've been that way for a long time, okay? Because typically no one's ever checked it so if something's like empty or the tank is empty in one area like you know vitamin b3 or you know vitamin d or whatever it's been that way for a while it's going to take time to fix it but when systems are nutritionally deficient that is what causes the systems of the body to break down so if you're just looking at the systems you're still not getting to the root cause of what caused that in the first place are you with me? So bad nutrition or lack of nutrition, nutritional deficiencies cause the systems of the body, high blood pressure, diabetes, all of these, you know, it, depression because of the neurotransmitters, causes all of that to break down. So you have to figure out a way to have someone look at the nutritional deficiencies in the body. And there's lab tests that can be done to do that. If you can't find someone to do that, get in touch with us. Our providers are all around the country. We can get that done for you. No issue at all. Okay. But I want to encourage you that needs to be done. I would encourage you for that to be done. It's probably a better way to say it because you've got to know if you don't have information, you don't have a strategy. There's two types of nutri nutrition. There is blind nutrition where you listen to things I say, you read a book, you go online, you say, oh, man, this blog looks really good. That's a good article. Hmm. Think I'm going to try this. Think I'm going to try that. Think I'm going to try this. Think I'm going to think I'm going to think I'm going to think, I'm gonna think you know, the whole thing, right? You start rapping to yourself. The reality is it's blind because you have no idea what you're doing. And you're, you're trying to play doctor with Google and read things and then put whatever you think should be good in your body. Rather than do lab work, be strategic, know exactly what your low values are, what your high values are, because the power is in the blood, and then know exactly what to do. That is how you win in this whole game. So whether it's Burning Man, Running Man, or depression, anxiety, whatever it is, okay, that's how you win. It's not hard. But you've got to have the information, and you've got to have the discipline to follow through. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. 7272. Give us a call. I'm Dr. Asa. This is the Dr. Asa Show. We are here for you each and every day. Go to DrAsaShow.com. And also, don't forget, my best-selling book, we're giving it away for free. MyFreeHealthBook.com. MyFreeHealthBook.com. If you need a place to start, we're giving it to you for free so you can get started on your journey to become the best version of you. Better become the best version. Want to turn back the clock 15 years and have more energy? This is Dr. Asa telling you to just breathe with LiveO2. LiveO2 delivers the right amount of oxygen we need for optimal health. Go to LiveO2.com. That's LiveO2.com. Connect with On Call Radio and watch On Call TV at InShapeNetwork.com. 
so excited and I'm so glad you're here with us. 888-283-7272. I'm Dr. Asa. This is the Dr. Asa Show, DrAsaShow.com. Let's talk about allergies for just a minute because, you know, whether you're in the spring season or even into the fall season, people struggle with allergies. And people want to know what it, what are they? A lot of times we've been taught growing up that it's, oh, I have allergies or, oh, you have allergies or grandma had allergies, so I've got allergies. It's really not the case. Allergies really come down to you. And what I mean by that is all allergies are is your body, this is where it starts. You want to know the basis? Your body's inability to break down proteins. That's it. So when you have a breakdown of hydrochloric acid in the stomach and then you can't break down carbohydrates and you can, I'm sorry, you can't break down proteins, then that's where the issue begins because when you don't break down proteins well, that increases the mast cell activity and the mast cells are increased when you can't break proteins down very well and they release a substance called histamine. When histamine is high in the body, then all of a sudden the foods that you eat, the cat dander, the dog dander, and every other dander, it affects you. That's when the ragweed is like affecting your eyes are all swelling shut. It's when, you know, whatever the pollen, everybody sees when it's yellow everywhere, especially here in the South. Goodness gracious. That's affected me every year. So I have to like double up and make sure I'm taking a bunch of enzymes and, and apple cider vinegar and these kind of things in the springtime, or I get hammered. Been that way ever since I was a kid. So, it, but it also in the non season, I still keep up with a good level of digestives because I want to make sure that my histamine level is low. And I, of course, I eat anti inflammatory based foods most of the time, and that keeps me in a good state as well. So, allergies are caused by the things that you eat. Number one, putting the right kind of foods in, but also making sure that your gut health is good where it can break things down and it doesn't get high amounts of hydrochloric it doesn't have low amounts of hydrochloric acid. That would affect the whole issue with allergies. The mast cells would increase, the histamine would increase. So, a couple of things that can really help. Number one are probiotics. Probiotics put the good bacteria back in the gut. And that's so important because you have to have the right kind of bacteria in the gut. And listen, if you're drinking tap water or if you're eating you know, foods from restaurants that you're not in control of the quality and you're doing that a lot, if you're eating processed foods a lot, you got to realize that there are so many variables in what's stripping away the right or the good bacteria out of your gut. And so that's why probiotics are so, so important. So you want to think about probiotics on a regular basis. Uh, minimum 30 billion per capsule. And you can get it some in foods, but I mean, I, I'm just going to tell you. You can eat yogurt. That's great. You can do like fermented vegetables. That's great. Kefir, whatever. You want to eat all of that. That's great. But it's going to take a lot of food to get what you need. That's why supplementing with probiotics is probably the best thing. It's kind of like vitamin D. Yes, you can go get out in the sun. But if you're over the age of like 45, I believe it is, what's the recent study that just came out, <clears throat> if you're over the age of 45, you don't even hardly utilize, your skin can't even absorb vitamin D from the sun anymore. So I'm like, it's a t- complete waste. So just supplement. It's easier. You just take your 5,000 IUs of vitamin D or 10,000 IUs, whatever you take, and you know, you're good to go. Same thing's true with probiotics. Taking them, I take them in the morning and I take them at night. Right before I go to bed, first thing when I get up in the morning. And it's great for regulating your gut health, your bowel health, your bowel movements, all of this stuff. It just keeps everything. It's like a health insurance plan for your body. So that's number one with allergies. Number two, you've got to use hydrochloric acid to break down your proteins better. So a good way to do that is apple cider vinegar. You've heard of that. Taking like a tablespoon with your meals, it really does. It increases hydrochloric acid in the stomach. It breaks down proteins better. So when you eat that steak or you have that chicken, it breaks all that down. So I would encourage you to look at that. And then the other, I'm going to give you number three, three things. The third thing when you're dealing with allergies is to make make sure you stay off of dairy products and you stay off of wheat products to cut down on the inflammation in the gut. So glad to be with you. 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. This is the Dr. Asa Show. I'm Dr. Asa. You can go to DrAsaShow.com. Everything's there. You want to send me an email, you want to call me, 888-283-7272, give me a call. We'll make it part of the show. Or if you want me to answer in private, we can do that as well. Plus, you can DM me. Send me a message on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok. Everything's at Dr. Asa. So we're here for you each and every day. And I'm giving you, giving away a free copy of my book. So if you don't get this, listen, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this, but I want to make sure that you get a copy of it. It's a hardback copy. My best-selling book hit all the lists. Sold you know, over a million copies. It's, it's really a book that will encourage you and help you and get you to the next level with your health and with your life. It's got the anti-inflammatory diet in the book. So I want to encourage you to get that. 888 I talk a lot about water, and I want to hit you with this right now. They've done a new study, and they found that if you drink more water, a certain amount, that you will actually increase the fat-burning potential inside the body, up by almost 30%. Now, 
Let me say that again, 30%. So you're out there doing intermittent fasting, which just can be a good thing. You're out there taking your pills that are like the fat burners. That's not such a good thing. There's only a couple of those that even work, but you've got to be so high level with your exercise and everything else before they're going to do that. The pills are not going to take off the fat. You've got to put the work in, period. But you may be doing all of those things, but if you're not doing this one thing, you're missing the boat. 30% is massive. 30% is better than like using phenermine if you got under medical supervision. Like it, 30% is a big deal. And all they say is that you've got to drink half your body weight in ounces of water. So if you weigh 240 pounds, drink 120 ounces a day. It's a gallon. So I want to encourage you to start there. If you haven't started with anything else, start with water. It is a great, great place to start. And it's the place that's going to take you to the finish line. Because if you can't do anything else, cut out the coffee, cut out the juice. Juices have really, unless they're like freshly done and periodically blended with the pulp kind of thing, you really don't need to be ju juices. I'd rather you do the whole piece of fruit than do juices. They just don't have, I mean, the benefits are like so-so. In certain instances, they can be very helpful. But on the day-to-day, -day, it's better to drink water, add some lemon with it, be done. Drink tons of it, drink a gallon of it. You know, getting your water intake in every day matters a lot. Like, it, it's a huge deal. We have Samantha in Florida. Where is she? In Sarasota, Florida. And she wants to know, this is an email. By the way, you can always email me. She wants to know what to do for a low thyroid. Real simple. Low thyroid function, one of the best things you've got to do, you've got to look into is iodine. Get a test done. There's some testing that can be done nutritionally. If you need help with our providers, just get in touch with our office and we'll help you. But getting tested for iodine to see if you're deficient. Many times a low thyroid or sluggish thyroid is not functioning because there is an issue with the amount of iodine in the body. Plus there can be lack of tyrosine, which is an amino acid and, and others. So I would get that looked at because remember, your body breaks down because you're deficient. It doesn't break down for any other reason. So you've got to figure out what the deficiency are so you can get to that next level with your health and with your life. And the thyroid is no different because the last thing you want to do is not check that. And the last thing you want to do is get on some medicine that they're going to say you got to be on forever when your body was just deficient in something. That's, nothing can beat your choices with lifestyle choices, with eating well, exercising, putting the right nutrition in, and getting proper rest. Did you know you could listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, Check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to asarx.com and get your free book today. This episode is over, but check episode notes for links to products and services you've heard about on this episode. Thanks for listening and subscribing. Please share the Asa RX audio experience with others and stay in touch by giving us your comment or review.